Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for September 4th, 2020. Of course, it is a Friday morning getting ready for the Labor Day weekend. We have one cold front that we still have to get through. And then it's going to be absolutely beautiful. There is our lone shower from our cold front. That's pretty much it. But behind this cold front, the dew points are going to crash. That's going to be the first thing. And then tonight will be the temperatures. Right now, throughout the region, we have temperatures ranging from the lower to mid-60s over the far northern interior, basically around the Catskills, mid to upper 60s over the rest of the interior, upper 60s to mid-70s along the coast and in your urban areas. Notice the dew points are in the mid-60s to lower 70s, so it is very, very humid out there, that is for sure. So... With all this moisture still in the atmosphere, we have areas of fog, visibility around two to three miles, and it's just kind of muggy out there. Okay, no real precipitation, but you got some low clouds, it's just muggy and tropical, but relief is on the way. Take a look at our radar again. As our cold front's approaching, the showers and thunderstorms associated with it have pretty much collapsed. Uh, this is due to the fact that the cold front is moving through at probably the most stable time period in the atmosphere. You know, every so often you can get a cold front that uh, basically enhances the instability in the atmosphere. You can end up with a pretty nasty line of thunderstorms. But in this case, that is not going to happen. What is going to happen is that this cold front is going to move through. And we can see in the latest observations from the SPC, look at this cold front, okay? After this clears out, all of this dry air invades, okay? This is uh, dew points below 50 here. So this is going to set up for a very nice weekend for the entire region as this cold front exits the coast. And you'll feel this fall in humidity later in the afternoon, and then you'll really feel it this evening as temperatures fall. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see not much in a way of lifting here. Our cold front is generally weak, thus there are no cold cloud tops. And that extends all the way back to the west here. Now, this is what's called an upper-level trough. This is going to swing on through and push all of this out, and high pressure will be in control thereafter. Taking a look at our visible satellite picture as the sun is rising again, some low clouds here and there around the Delaware River Valley. Other than that, it's pretty tranquil out there. There is our cold front producing some low clouds in that lone shower. So let's dive into this forecast for today. Cold front clears the region. Again, watch out for that isolated shower. Other than that, sky cloud cover is expected. High temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. Muggy this morning, rapidly improving this afternoon. And this evening, clear skies, northwesterly winds, and temperatures falling off into the mid 50s to lower 60s throughout the region. Dew points, I would not be surprised if we get some upper 30s in terms of dew points over, let's say, the Poconos and the Catskills. So that's certainly something to look forward to. Tomorrow afternoon, high pressure passes over the region. Look for light and variable winds. Temperatures rising into the mid to upper 70s. For Sunday, high pressure slowly starts to exit, but still very nice. Look for lows in the mid 50s to lower 60s. Highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. On Monday, Labor Day, high pressure exits. Look for more of a southeasterly wind, and so you're going to see an increase in cloud cover, but no precipitations expected. The low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s, and again, with that wind coming off the ocean, a little bit higher humidity. High temperatures will range from the mid 70s to lower 80s. On Tuesday, watch out for an isolated shower or two, especially towards the evening. Other than that, it's got a cloud cover. Lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Highs in the lower to mid 80s. Now on Wednesday. It's going to be a very interesting pattern setting up. Now, we're going to have what's called a Western Atlantic Ridge here. It's going to kind of block everything up, all right? It's going to be more congested than the LIE with the way that this pattern's setting up. So this is your tropical air mass with this warm front. This is the air mass that we're going to be in, kind of like a maritime mix with some influence from the ocean, but not really warm, just kind of muggy. And then back here is your polar air mass. Where we're talking about temperatures for highs in the 60s and maybe 70 degrees. So this cold front's gonna stall out initially. This warm front's gonna lift up towards us, and Wednesday we're gonna see some scattered showers as a result. Lows in the lower 70s, highs in the mid to upper 70s, and just muggy out there. On Thursday, the cold front gains a little bit more strength, starts to approach widespread showers, a few thunderstorms, 
Look for lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. Again, not hot, just muggy and tropical. On Friday, a few lingering showers in the morning. This cold front clears off the coast. High pressure builds in the afternoon with rapidly falling humidity, much like today. Low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s. High temperatures only in the mid 60s to lower 70s throughout the region. How's that for a nice cool crisp polar air mass just in time by the way i believe that the uh, nfl will be starting so there we go that is your forecast discussion for today of course if you enjoy these videos please like share and subscribe hit that notification button so that way you know when these forecasts are out and as always have a wonderful day have a wonderful holiday weekend if i don't see you and as always stay safe out there